In this video, we'll explore events in ScienceLogic SL1. We'll review events, how they're triggered, and how to manage and correlate events to maintain the health and efficiency of your network. Let's start with the basics. What is an event in SL1? In the realm of network monitoring, an event is a critical piece of information. It's an alert triggered when specific conditions are met, signaling various scenarios like server downtime, high CPU usage, or communication failures. For instance, if a server goes down or a device exceeds CPU thresholds, SL1 generates an event. These events not only alert you to potential issues, but also provide detailed information, including the problem's description, location, severity, occurrence timings, and age. Now, how are these events triggered? SL1 actively monitors your system, generating log messages based on collected data and predefined conditions. These logs come from various sources, such as syslogs, internal processes, SNMP traps, and dynamic application alerts. When SL1 receives a log message, it compares it to existing event definitions. If there's a match, an event instance is created and displayed on the events page. This intelligence system even correlates related logs, rolling them up into a single comprehensive event. When you first open the events page, you are presented with a comprehensive list of currently active events. These range from critical to healthy, providing a clear view of your network status. Each event can be acknowledged, cleared, or further investigated right from this page. Additionally, for a more targeted approach, you can view events by organization, focusing solely on what's relevant to your specific needs. By default, events are sorted by severity, from the highest to the lowest, and then by their last occurrence, ensuring you see the most severe and recent events first. TSL1 remembers your sorting preferences for your next visit, making it a personalized experience. To search for specific events, simply use the search field at the top. You can even save your searches for future use. Now, let's dive into the key pieces of information displayed for each event. You'll see the organization associated with the event, the severity level, the name of the entity involved, and a detailed message. Additionally, you can view the age of the event, the count, any user-defined notes, and if there are any masked events. Masked events are particularly important as they group multiple occurrences on the same device, allowing for a cleaner and more consolidated view. Managing events doesn't stop there. SL1 provides you with tools to filter events by organization, service, or severity, enhancing your ability to quickly identify and address issues. To filter events, simply select the desired criteria from the view menu. You can choose to group events by organization or service, and then refine further based on severity, represented by intuitive color codes. Remember, red indicates critical conditions, orange for major, yellow for minor, blue for notices, and green signifies healthy states. Exploring additional data about an event is just as straightforward. Clicking on an event expands to reveal a detailed summary, including tools for diagnostics, vital statistics, and associated logs. This expanded view is pivotal for a deeper analysis, ensuring you have all the information at your fingertips. Finally, SL1 can automate responses to events. To view these automated actions, simply click on the Actions button for an event and select View Automation Actions. Here you can review the history of all actions taken in response to the event, including the time executed, the policy triggered, and the actions result. In summary, events in SL1 are vital for effective network management. They provide real-time alerts, detailed information, and are customizable to fit your specific needs. By leveraging these features, you can maintain a healthy, efficient network environment.